Good evening everyone. It's a bit late but um, I've had a very busy day. I've been out and taken things to my auntie's care home. <laughs> oh, well, things said Zoom has mended. I didn't get to see her this lunch. I wouldn't have been allowed anyway, would I? I haven't seen her since April in there. Anyway, I delivered the stuff and I picked up my birthday present which is absolutely beautiful and it's sitting over near the angels it's a big joseph mary and baby jesus my auntie bought me that and it's beautiful i'm really happy with that i was with her when she bought me it <laughs> and she kept in her wardrobe i think anyway the carer went and got it and then my friend brought me back. So I'm going to continue with what I should have done had I been there. So we're on December the 3rd, it's a Thursday, and I'm going to read for you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to, I've already said it once, but I like to talk to my angel. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever to stay be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide, amen, and be with me this night, amen. From Mark 6, verse 13, they drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil, blessed oil, many people who were sick and cured them. The reflection is, Jesus wanted to share his power to heal with his disciples and with us, you and me. He's giving us that power to pray to heal in his holy name. That's not written here telling you it's true. One example of this is the communal celebration of the anointing of the sick. It's occasionally offered in our parishes. That depends where you live sometimes. If you will require surgery or you have a long-term illness or are at an advanced age do not hesitate to be anointed when you're not in lockdown because I've no doubt the government would not allow us to be anointed but I would pray that there's some priests who would still anoint the sick. I pray Lord now that you will allow and encourage by your Holy Spirit some of our holy priests to continue anointing the sick because I believe they can be healed from anything, absolutely anything, with the anointing of the sick. Amen. And um, the prayer. Dear Jesus, I pray for an open mind and heart to be cleansed of any barriers that are blocking me or others from opportunities to heal and be healed in your holy name. Amen. Jesus gave us power that we don't even know and realize we've got. We just have to step out in faith and use it. If people do not want you to lay your hands on them, you stretch out your hands anywhere you wish, towards the person, the spot that is hurting or in, and then you just pray in the holy name of Jesus that it's his holy will that person be healed. You stand there and pray over them. If you don't want to touch them and they don't want to be touched and you don't, you just stretch out your hands and you pray in faith that God will heal. You might get scripture. It will come and tell you, and then you'll read that scripture to them. It's 
meant for them, not you. The scripture comes into your head while you're praying. Open your Bible, read it too. Because the word will touch in their heart, their soul, their spirit, their mind. It isn't a word for you, it's a word for them. Be brave. Step out in faith. God bless you. Have a good night.